Hello everyone, so there's going to be a part 2 to the video of me reviewing the Watch the Queen Kong palette. Um, we did this side in my last video, so please go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And in today's video we're going to be using this side, which I'm really excited to do. There's also like film on this side so let's just let's do a little ASMR <laughs> and just that was probably not that satisfying but I tried <laughs> so yeah we're gonna be testing this out i'm also going to be using some new brushes that i got from home bargains you're probably thinking home bargains like i doubt they're going to be awesome let me just get them but they're in this like pouch thing these are the face brushes like so so you get a concealer brush um, this is meant to be a contour brush, this is meant to be a foundation brush, this one right here, and then this one is meant to be a cheek brush. The by KHHM, so, oh, Katie Hughes Makeup, that's it. And then this pouch is the eye brushes. There's quite a bit in there. There's like an eyebrow brush too, which is cool. But this one has like quite a bit of blending brushes, which is what I'll be using as well as my other brushes. But I wanted to try these out in this video as well. Then I can kill two birds with one stone and actually get two little reviews. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the video. Right, so I did my eye base. I'm doing this eye and then I'm gonna do the upper right of the camera. Um, I'm gonna do like green in here, the like, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna take the shade Tactical on my Katie Hayes Makeup Detailed Blending Brush and I'm going to start here but I'm not gonna be bothering too much about the pigment, I just wanna get it on and map out the shade. And then I'm gonna take the shade No Escape and put that in the middle. Again, we're only mapping out where we want it. And then I'm going to take the shade of position and I'm going to place that in the outer corner. This brush is actually okay, I'm not gonna lie, I actually love it. And these shades, like even for just mapping out, they're quite pigmented, so you know that they're gonna be good. I'm struggling to see what brushes I could use for the second shade. Right, I'm going to try this one, it is the medium blending brush, I think. Nah, we're still going to stick to the medium brush. 
I'm gonna take the shade in control and I'm gonna put that there. I'm then gonna take the medium fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in the shade Conquest and then blend that out. Conquest seems to be a very similar colour to In Control. That's something to keep in mind because it doesn't look like I put any of a different colour on than that. But it is unique colours, like they are unique shades, which is why I bought this palette as well as the packaging. <laughs> is they're all like unique. So before I actually build up the intensity, I want to go in to the middle shades. And I want to take the shade Risk Taker for this part here. not too bored about the pigment yet I just want to get that colour placement down and then I'm going to take the shade piece of me and I'm going to blend out the orange shade so that's that at the moment and then I'm going to take the shade My Turn for the outer corner. And we're just placing that like so. And then taking the shade uh, Can't Complete. This, this is going to be quite different on the outside. the last shade I'm going to take on the clock it will look so messy now but I promise you like once I build up the shades it will be fine so I'm just going to repeat the steps that I've taken and build up the pigmentation of the shades and then we'll get back to cutting the crease and yeah I know that um, these like sections of the video are quite long so I did try and speed it up but I just wanted to like come on here and ask you guys what you'd like to see next I have two Beauty Bay palettes to review. I have the Age of Opulence and the Wilderness palette, but I'm currently stuck between the two. So let me know down below which one you'd actually like me to review first, and I'll do that. Um, of course, I've got to film part three of this video, but I wanted to like break up my videos because at the moment it's been just POVs that I've been re 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 <laughs> that I've been reviewing and so I want a bit of a change obviously um, this video is going to be uploaded two weeks in the future <laughs> so two weeks ago me was really busy with assignments so I haven't been uploading that much because I'm back at college and the routine's changed and the workload is just insane so I had to do some videos in advance during Christmas and that's why there wasn't really any videos <laughs> um, but yeah so I hope you enjoy these videos I've not been able to put music in my videos because the music is either something I don't like and that isn't my vibe <laughs> Or, um, I just, like, don't want to get copyrighted. Um, but, yeah. Um, I love seeing, like, me, like, making it look 
better throughout the video like building up the intensity and stuff like it is really fun and that's why i love mapping out the shape first but yeah that's all i wanted to say enjoy the rest of the video i was gonna clean underneath but i've decided that i can't be bothered <laughs> so i'm gonna take my blank canvas uh acid rain paint and i'm gonna get a bit of this On the back of my hand and then I'm gonna do a half cut crease so from there Right, so we're gonna actually play with the shimmers. Again, there's not really like a big like flat brush in this like brush set. I do actually love it so far, like the brushes are doing what they're meant to do. This is meant to be a small <laughs> blending brush. Honestly, I wouldn't really consider this a blending brush. And there is also a half moon lid brush, which I'm guessing is made for halo eyes, but I'm gonna be using it for the shimmers so yeah i'm really looking forward to actually using the shimmers because they are gorgeous so i'm gonna take the shade surrender and i'm gonna pack it where the dark red is near I don't know about you, but the shimmer isn't really showing up. Oh, now it is. And I couldn't tell whether that was the brush or just me being stupid. Well, whoa. If you can see the shimmer on that, that's beautiful. Wow. So, obviously, it's made a mess on my palette because <laughs> I accidentally dug deep by accident so I'm gonna stop there take the shade ruler on the same brush and I'm gonna put that in the middle oh this is pretty sort of gonna blend in with the red but that's gorgeous Ooh, when you blend real and serum together it makes this like really nice burnt orange shade which is gorgeous I'm gonna apply more of the surrender shade take the shade victory which is a beautiful like old gold type shade and i'm gonna place that here oh the shift to it is like a green shift like a green blue shift I really wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Um, and then I'm going to blend the outside of the shimmers with that dark red shade opposition wow um i'm gonna do the other eye off camera 
and yeah I'll be back to my final thoughts on this side of the palette. So this is the look that I created with this side of the palette. Um, as I was explaining before, this shade got really crumbly and the pan actually moves. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hopefully it wasn't anything to do with me. Um, I normally don't press that hard on my eyeshadows, but that shade definitely, like, the pan is moving. Um, I used all the rows pretty much. Um, just, like, the main colours that I looked at that I wanted to try all my eyes and I love it I think it's a great like color story and I love the references to like the chess game also like last time this side as well is so good I think she did so well with this palette P. Louise never really fails to impress me like I keep saying uh, I think her quality and her eyeshadows are actually brilliant and I actually want to build up the, I think it's like the 108 Pro Pan, the Pro Pan palette. I want to actually start getting it and like building my palette because I do love her eyeshadows and I do use them quite a bit so I will invest in that but yeah I approve of this palette so far in part 3. I'm gonna try and do both sides if I can. I'll have to try and figure out a look that I could do. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you like this look. This, my headband that I was using, it keeps like, keep having like fluff from it on my hair. So I do apologize, but this is the look. And yeah. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment, like, and subscribe. I do post every week. Not, like, a specific day in the week, but I do post at least once a week. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!